While my slow cooker is far from the prettiest appliance I have in my kitchen, it sure has catapulted me to super mom status for being able to make a fab dinner without even being in the house. But seriously, it's invaluable for slow cooking soups, stews or slow roasted meats while we're all out at work, school or just having fun. I'm going to show you how to make my easy, speedy, slow cooker Thai pork curry. So pour a couple of cans of coconut milk into a slow cooker bowl and add some Thai red curry paste, or you could add green or a milder korma instead, peanut butter, some fish sauce, and some soft light brown sugar, and then give it all a good stir together. Finally slice a red onion, and roughly chop a red pepper, and have some baby corns. Then put everything in on top of the sauce, and crush in a couple of garlic cloves, and finally grate some fresh ginger. Trim and cut some pork loin chops into bite-sized pieces and add the pork into the mixture also. Give it a good stir and then cover with a lid and set the slow cooker to low for eight hours. After this time when the curry is cooked, roughly shred some pak choy and stir this through until wilted. Then spoon some cooked rice or noodles into a serving bowl. Lay that delicious curry over. It smells so fragrant and then garnish with some coriander leaves and serve. Wow, loving that slow cooker. I find it really handy. So for example, with a meal like this, I would prepare everything the night before and then pop it into the slow cooker before we all head out for the day. And then we come back to a really nice, warm, delicious and nutritious meal for all the family. Let's have a little try. Mmm, it's delicious, not too spicy. Everything is still really succulent and vibrant and really, really tasty.